I'm a huge Zelda nerd fan, whatever you want to call me. The, the game, Tears of the Kingdom, has been out a couple weeks now. It's, first of all, it's amazing. If you're not playing it, go play it. It's honestly worth the price of a Switch if you just buy the Switch and Tears of the Kingdom. But why would you do that? You should pick up Breath of the Wild too because it is also fantastic. Tears of the Kingdom is better. It's honestly the greatest thing I've ever played. GameStop. GameStop's really struggling. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, that helps all GameStops, right? Because having, you know, your biggest game of the year come out, like that's always going to be a little bit of a little bit of lifeblood to us to a store like that. But not not if you were in Brighton, Michigan, or at least one of the stores there. I don't know. There may be more because there's GameStops everywhere. Here in Fort Worth, there's got to be seven of them. Maybe that's why you're struggling, GameStop. Have a little bit of exclusivity. <laughs> this, this store in Brighton, Michigan, you know, according to the workers that, that used to work there, the conditions were awful. They didn't get paid nearly enough. They, they were constantly told to do things that weren't even in their job description. And they all had asked over and over and over again for these things to be fixed, just to deaf ears, right? Which is pretty true among a lot of our working class out there. So they all, on the day that the game launched, they all protested and quit. They, re they resigned. They put a sign up on the door and it said, I want to read it to you because it's, it's good. Unfortunately, due to poor working conditions, the staff of the Brighton GameStop have decided to resign, effective immediately. Management overworks, underpays, underappreciates its frontline workers. They set unrealistic expectations and constantly threaten termination for any employee that cannot exceed them. To all of our loyal guests, we are terribly sorry for this inconvenience. We appreciate every one of you and your continued business, but I literally cannot pay my rent. If you have any co questions, complaints, comments, please forward them to the regional manager, Tim Keeley, and or the district manager, James Moreland. And then they give their, their two email addresses. In, in our country right now, we've got people that are fighting unions. We've got people that are, that are fighting to keep the minimum wage at $7.25, which is laughably low. I always like it when you see the little guy, Zuh, band together and kind of stick it to the, to the man. Good on you. Who knows you know, when, the, when the people got their game. Hopefully everyone got the games they needed and, and that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I love that story. That's a good one. And I digitally downloaded mine, so I, it wouldn't have mattered to me. And I'm super selfish enough to, to, to make that my, deciding, my, my dividing line.